What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to uh, fix the issue that your Eurotruck Simulator 2 is not starting properly or not even starting or won't start. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial so stick to the end guys. I'll tell you step-by-step -step how to do that. And uh, before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, so it would support me as a little YouTuber here on my journey on YouTube. So subscribing is free for you guys and would be massive support for me. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm going to thank you for that right now. And I would just say, let's get right started. So in order to fix this issue, I would personally recommend to start your task manager is the first thing you want to basically do by navigating to the bottom uh, of your screen, clicking right click onto the task taskbar and opening up your task manager. Once it is opened up, I would personally recommend you to uh, search for Eurotrack Simulator by clicking right into it and clicking E. If nothing pops up, it's perfect. If Eurotrack Simulator or something related to it pops up, you're going to basically just right click it and enter task. Uh, once you did that, you can close the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to have your Steam shortcut right onto your desktop. If you don't have it on your desktop, you, go, uh, you will have to drag it onto your desktop. And the next step is going to be to right click it and to run it as an administrator. Once Steam starts, you need to run um, Eurotrack Simulator over your Steam launcher and just look if it's working. If it's not working, the next step will probably help you. So you need to uh, right click your Steam launcher again and go down to your properties. Uh, where you, this this window will pop up, and you're gonna go to compatibility. Once you're at the compatibility mode, uh, your compatibility, you need to enable compatibility mode. So run this program in compatibility mode four, and select Windows 8 right here. Uh, the next step is gonna be to disable disable full screen optimizations, as well as enable run this program as an administrator. You need to apply that afterwards and click OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC after that, and once it is restarted, you need to double click Steam and um, you need to start or launch uh, your truck simulator over your Steam account or Steam launcher. This will probably fix the problem. I hope I could actually help you out of this video, video guys. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.